Okay, let's uh, solve this problem on centroids or center of gravity. So locate the centroid with respect to the x-axis of the beam's cross-sectional area. So have you seen this uh, kind of uh, beam? It's a T-beam. Ano? Uh, usually, yung mga, may mga concrete din naman na T-beams. Um, ano ba ba? Uh, sa steel, meron ding steel. Steel or timber na T-beams. Okay? So sometimes, ito yung beam natin, rectangular beam, tapos ito yung namang as, uh, part of the slab. Ito. So sometimes we analyze yung ating uh, beams as T-beams. No? So you will discuss more of this one, of uh, designs, design of uh, structural elements in your uh, ma um, succeeding major subjects, okay? So for now, let's uh, uh, determine the centroid of this T-beam, cross-sectional area of a T-beam uh, with respect to the X-axis. So nasan yung X-axis natin? So, hindi naman nilagay kung anong axis. So, i-draw na lang natin. So for example, so, dito lang yung X-axis natin. Pwede rin naman dito yung X natin. Ito na lang. Basta just be consistent na lang sa pag-drawing uh, natin. Okay. Ito yung X-axis. Uh, Y-axis natin. Tama ba yung nasa video? Medyo kanyata. Slanted. Alright. Okay, um, <clears throat> so let's say this is the x-axis, y-axis. Pwede naman yung y-axis na sa gitna na mismo. So yung uh, hinahanap natin is the location of the centroid with respect to the x-axis. So siguro yung centroid natin, we can assume it to be, sa kayong centroid ng area? Somewhere here, ipan na lang natin. So obviously kasi, bakit x-axis lang? Medyo uh, obvious naman kung... Ang location ng center, symmetrical naman yan relative to center line nito. Ito. So, if pag dinawin natin yung center line dyan, obvious kung nasaan yung centroid natin relative to y-axis. Siyempre, nandyan yan. Okay? Nandyan. So, uh, what is not obvious, of course, is the location of the centroid relative to the x-axis. Ito. So... Mm -hmm. So this is y bar. So y bar. Ito yung uh, center natin. Okay? So we are solving for the y bar. Y bar. <laughs> or it's the y mm, sorry. Y coordinate of the uh, centroid. So sabi ko kanina, obvious naman yung ating center relative to the y axis no so this is so ang 200 dito yan so this uh, is 100 no yung yung centroid ng yung location ng centroid relative to the y axis now what is not obvious of course is the value of the y coordinate uh, y bar so how do you solve for the uh, y value of y bar. So we are going to use the principle of moments. So sa previous video, I have this discussed with you. <clears throat> yung principle of moments applied sa pag-solve ng uh, <clears throat> centroid. I'm sorry. Okay. So sabi ko nina. Ay uh, yeah. Sa previous kanina tuloy. Sa previous video, the moment of the total area. So, we are submitting moments about this axis, ah, so x-axis. So, the moment of this total area, okay, okay about x-axis, which is yung moment niya times yung moment arm. Okay, so, ano yung moment arm natin? Yung centroid ng total area, location niya from the x-axis in this case. So, that is y bar. No? So, yung moment niya about x, total area times y bar, is equal to the summation 
of areas so of uh, uh, the different areas no regular areas the moment the summation of the moment the moment of each uh, uh, area no about the x axis okay ano ba yung notation natin sa module nakalimutan ko na hmm Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Wala naman. Just small letter A na lang yung kuha natin. Since we have used capital letter A here. So, A times Y. A area times Y. Which means that we're now going to divide yung area, yung composite area, into regular shapes. Okay? How do we divide the, the area into regular shapes? Ano? So, ito... May dalawa, no? Two. Itong rectangle, ito. Itong another rectangle here. Okay? So, let's say this is the first area. Okay? And this is the second area. Okay? So, bawat area, meron silang centroid. Ano? So, sa first area, ito yung center niya. Hindi ko sinilagay dyan. Ito yung center ng first area. Okay, C1, let's say. Center naman ng second area ito. Let's say that is uh, C2. C yung center ng buong area. Okay. So, this is area 1 and this is area 2. Ayan. Okay. Area 1, area 2. So, remember um, that we need the, the values of these uh, uh, two areas and uh, the total area. Okay. So first, kunin muna natin yung total area tapos area ng bawat uh, shape, regular shape here. So let's solve for the, the total area. So the total area is just the sum of the two areas here. So let's start with area 1, that is 20 mm times okay, 100 Plus, yung area 2 natin, that is 200 mm, times 40 mm. Okay. So, that is the total area. So, that is 1,000, 1,000, uh, 10,000, I should say. 10,000 square millimeters. Okay. And the uh, area 1 Area 1, oh, sorry, that should be small letter A na lang para hindi tayo magkakalituhan sa notation. So, area 1 is um, 100 mm times 20 mm. So, area 1 natin is <clears throat> 8,000 uh, 8, ba Sorry. That is uh, 2,000 pala. Uh, square millimeters. And area 2, ito. Area 2 natin is uh, 40 times 200. So, 40 mm times 200 mm. Okay, so 2 times 4, that is 8, uh, 8,000. 8,000 uh, square millimeters. So, kompleto na. So, we have the total area. We have area 1, area 2. Okay. So, we can now uh, solve for the value of Y bar. Okay, so let's substitute these values dito sa equation natin. So the total area is 10,000 square millimeters times y bar, which is the unknown, equals summation of the moment of each area relative to the axis. No, in this case, x axis since we are solving for y bar. Okay, so let's start with area 1. 
Area 1 is 2,000 square millimeters. Times its moment arm about x axis. Okay? Ano yung moment arm ng 1, area 1, relative to x axis? Ang moment arm niya is the distance between the center of area 1 from the x axis. So, distance between C1 and x axis. Since ito yung configuration ng rectangle natin, so ito yung y1 okay ganun din sa area 2 later on so this is uh, y2 naman the distance between the center of area 2 to the x axis so distance between area 2 center ng area 2 and the x axis so y1 Yun yung moment arm ng area 1 natin. Okay. So, what is Y1? Ano ba yung cent oh, rectangle ito? This is 100 mm. So, very obvious naman for rectangle. Y1 is equal to... So, 100 yan. Hati. No? Rectangle eh. So, 50 ito. Okay. So, this is 50 mm. Okay. Then, plus... Plus, plus. Area 2. Uh, area 2 natin is 8,000 uh, square millimeters times its moment arm about uh, x axis. So, ano yung moment arm niya? This is y2. Ano, ano yung y2? Distance between the center of area 2 and x axis. Okay? So, distance between area, the center of area 2 and x axis. So, ano yan? So, this is, itong distance na ito. So, this 100 mm, ano? Ang kailangan natin ng distance, ito. What is this distance? So, 40 mm yan. So, obviously, that is 20 mm. Okay, itong distance na yan. So, 100 plus 20. Okay, so, that is 120 millimeters. I hope na gets yun na. Kasi, ang sinosolve natin ay yung distance between center ng area 2 and to the x-axis. no? Dito yung dyan. So, center nyan is uh, H over 2 which is 20 mm So kalahati ng 40 is 20 yan Plus itong distance na yan Which is 100 So that's 120 mm Okay, so kompleto na We only have uh, one unknown in the equation That is y bar That's the location of the centroid no? Centroid Of this uh, cross section Relative to the x Axis So y bar is equal to so, malalaman natin kung nasa taas ba siya o nasa baba nito. in lang natin na nandito yung center. No? But, if y bar is less than 100, then obviously nandito yung center natin. If y bar is greater than 100, then correct yung assumption natin na nandito nga yung center niya. Okay? So, y bar is equal to, so solve natin, 106, nga ba? Millimeters. So, cancel yung square millimeters dyan. We're left with millimeters na unit ng Y bar. No? So, Y bar is 106 millimeters. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple. We are using the principle of moments. No? The principle of moments. Uh, ang pinagkaiba lang, of course, sa previous topic natin, force ang na may moment ano ngayon naman to solve for the moment of composite areas yung area ang may moment no ayan so dapat memorize natin yung uh, location ng centroid for each irregular uh, shape or regular area okay so that's the first uh, problem that's how we solve for the the centroid or y bar uh, location of the centroid from the x axis of this uh, cross-sectional area of, of a beam.
Okay, so next uh, problem. All right, let's solve this problem. I think I took this one dun sa my exercises part ng module ninyo. So, locate the centroid of the channel's cross-sectional area. So, this is a channel. Have you seen the, this kind of ano, uh, structural element before? Sa mga channel section. Because it's channel sections. You know, steel. Steel sya. So, minsan ginagamit to as purlin. Although yung mga purlins na nakita nyo ngayon, mga sea purlins, eh, medyo maninipis. Ano, pero may mga pang structural talaga na ano, na steel na channel we call this channel section so usually itong channel kasi may pag ganon siya okay ganon yung tura niya uh, so we solve for the centroid centroid of this section so later on sa steel design uh, minsan pinagkocombine combine ito may channel may, ang may angular so, combined siya or built up sections. So, yun, dapat alam natin mag-isolve yung centroid nun, tsaka may moment of inertia. Okay? So, ito muna. Mas madali. So, this time, uh, we solve for Y bar from this naman, from this axis. So, yung Y bar natin ay nandito. Uh, yung axis natin ay nandito sa taas. Ito yung, ito yung uh, baseline natin or baseline axis or reference axis. Hindi siya sa baba. No? Although, you can solve for the Location of the centroid from this axis. Ano? Pero let's just follow what is nandun sa, nandito sa may ano. Sa problem. Okay. Oh, meron pala yung answer dyan, which is uh, 2 inches. We'll see if uh, that is true. Okay. So, solve natin yung centroid. So, so obvious naman, uh, yung x bar natin, if this is the y axis, yung x bar natin is just nandito. Since symmetrical naman siya, relative to the center line. So, what we do not know, of course, what is not obvious, is the location of the centroid relative to the x-axis or the horizontal axis, in this case, y-bar. No, y-bar. Ano kaya ang y-bar? Oops, nag-blurred blurred yung video. What is that? Okay. So, again, we're going to use the same principle, just like the previous problem. Uh, we're going to use the principle of moments, no? So we have area times the total area times y bar is equal to the uh, yung moment ng total area relative to the y to the x axis here to this baseline is equal to the summation. Ano ba naman yan? <laughs> summation of the moment of each individual area. So again, we're going to divide this one later on into regular uh, shapes. So A times Y. Okay, so how do we divide this one into regular uh, shapes? Paano ba tin divide to? So pwedeng ito na lang. Um, pwede naman i-diretso ito, no? Pwede naman. Tapos, ito na lang yung rectangle natin, dalawa. Or, pwede namang ganyan na. So, bahala kayo mag-divide. Basta regular, ah. Kasi, yun yung alam natin agad-agad ang centroid. So, how do we divide this? Ganito na lang yung division. Eh, ito, ganito na lang. Sorry. So, this is area 1. Sorry, it's area 1. Uh, area 2 ito. This is area 2. Ah, but capital. And this is area 3. Okay? Area 1, area 2, area 3. So, obviously, area 2 and area 3 are uh, the same. So, they are the same. Parehas lang silang area, parehas din yung location ng center. Okay? Tapos yung centers nila, center ng area 1, nandito. Ano? Rectangle naman. So, dali lang siya. Since ito yung reference point natin, or reference axis, center ng area 1, C1, 
ang distance niya from this reference is 2 inches yan, ano? So, 1 inch punta dun. Ito naman yung center ng area 2. Uh, let's say C2, C3. So, distance ng C2 papunta dito. Uh, so, that is uh, 4 inches plus 2 inches. So, that is 6 inches. So, obviously, this is 3 uh, inches. No? 3 inches yan. Distance na yan. So, drawing na lang natin. So, this is 3 inches. Parehas lang sila. Yung C2, C3. Uh, C1 naman. This is 1 inch. And so 1 inch lang. <clears throat> okay. So, yung mga kailangan natin is the, air, the total area. Area ng bawat regular shape. And then, yung distance ng center ng bawat shape from the reference line or baseline or reference axis natin. So, ganun lang. Ma super simple. Okay? <clears throat> so, uh, area 1. Uh, or the total area is equal to A1 plus A2 plus A3. But A2 and A3 are the same. So, the total area is equal to so, A1 is, we have 12 inches, times, <coughs> sorry, uh, 2 inches, plus A2 natin is, we have 6 inches, times 2 inches, okay, plus area 3, parehas lang, so 6 inches. Pwede naman i-times na lang yan, but for the sake of discussion, kumpituin natin yung ano, uh, equation natin. So, this is area 1, area 2, area 3, 6 inches times 2 inches. So, the total area is equal to, that is 48 uh, inches yung total area natin. Okay? Actually, pwede nang i-direct ito sa isang equation, but sige. Isa-isa yung muna natin. Pero sa succeeding na examples, i-direction na natin ha, yung pag-solve ng area <laughs> para mabilis na yung, yung pag-solve natin. Okay? So, area 1 is 12 inches times 2 in... Ah! Sorry. So, this is 24 square inches. Uh, area 2 is 6 times 12 6 times, 6 times 2, I'm sorry. 6 times 2. 6 inches times 2 inches is equal to 12 square inches. Equal din yan sa uh, area 3. So, 24 plus 24, that's 48 inches of total area. Okay? So, we're good. Uh, good, good, good na tayo. So, area times y bar, area na din, is 48 square inches times y bar, yung uh, location ng centroid natin from this axis, is equal to the moment of each area about the reference axis. So let's start with area 1. Area 1 is 24 inches square times yung area 1 natin, distance niya from the reference axis, distance ng center ng area 1 from the reference axis is 1 inch. No? So, thickness niya is 2 inches. So, half niyan, yan yung uh, location ng centroid from the reference axis, which is 1 inch. No? Plus, uh, moment ng area 2 about the reference axis. Area 2 is we have 12 square inches times, again, yung center ng area 2 about this, the reference axis. So, we have uh, identified it a while ago. That's 3 inches. Okay. So, 6 inches yung buong height niyan. So, H over 2 is uh, 3 inches. Okay. Pwede na yung times 2 ito since parehas lang siya sa area 3. Pero, for the sake of discussion, 
isulat na rin natin yung moment ng area 3 about the reference axis. So, area 3 is also 12 square inches times yung distance ng center between the center of area 3 and the reference axis which is uh, 3 inches. Okay? Uh, cancel yung square inches natin dyan. We're left with inches na unit ng uh, y bar. So, let's see kung uh, 2 inches daw yung answer. Okay, so the answer is 2 inches. Yung location ng center natin from this reference axis. Okay, so yung center nandito dapat siya. So yung 2 inches ay nandito no, sa gilid, sa may edge. Ito. So nandyan siya dapat. Although na-assume na nandito, dapat nandito siya. Yung center ng channel section natin. Okay, so that's how we solve for the centroid of this particular uh, area. So, see you na naman sa next video na lang for more examples. Okay?